equations with brackets. So many types of equations. So here we get to review how we deal with brackets, and then everything else basically stays the same. So our first step is going to be to expand out the brackets. So if remember, we take everything in the front and we times it through. And that's only to the stuff inside the bracket, so I wouldn't take the 2 and then times it over to the 6. I'm just putting it into the brackets. So 2 times x becomes 2x plus 10, because 2 times positive 5 is a positive 10, and that's still equal to 6. And you'll notice I might leave a little space there next to the, before the equal sign, just so I have a chance to show some working. So, in my next step, I might think then, like we just did, I want to deal with the terms that do not have an x, and that's usually the plus or minuses. So if we look here, 2 times x plus 10, I want to get x by itself, I can do minus 10 to both sides of the equation. So positive 10 minus 10, they cancel each other out, and I'm left with just the 2x, and 6 minus 10 gets me to minus 4. Watch that, that's a positive minus a bigger number, so that becomes negative. Now last step here, again, I want to think about breaking apart the term with the x. So here, that's 2 times x, so the opposite of 2 times is going to be dividing by 2, and dividing by 2. So x is equal to minus 4 divided by 2. That's going to be, well, 4 divided by 2 would be 2, and that's still a negative, because there's just the one negative there. So x, in this case, is actually equal to negative 2. Right, next step. Again, it's probably be a good section for you guys to pause and try on your own and see how you go but I'll carry on. So, expanding out first, 6 times 5 is 30, and 6 times b is 6b, and that is equal to 30. Now the next step for me is going to be to try to get rid of the 30 on this side, because I want to get b by itself. And you'll notice here that that's a 30, with no sign in front of it, so I assume that it's positive, so I'm going to go minus 30 from both sides. 30 minus 30 is 0, I'm left with just the 6b, and 30 minus 30 on the other side is also 0. And that's okay, this is legal, we've done it correctly. 30 take away 30 gives us 0. Essentially we're saying there was positive 30 on this side and positive 30 on the other side, so if we take 30 off of both of them, I've got nothing left on the right hand side but I still have to figure out what b is. So 6 times b is equal to 0, so what times 6 could be 0? But if I'm not sure what that is, again that's timesing, so the opposite of timesing would be to divide, so I'm going to divide by 6. Those cancel, and I'm left with just the b, and 0 divided by 6. Well in fact anything divided, 0 divided by anything is still going to be 0, kind of like 0 times anything is still going to be 0. So here b is actually equal to 0. And we can check that working, if you want, as an example for that. If b is equal to 0, let's double check that that worked. We'll plug it in. 6 bracket 5 plus 0 bracket equals 30. 5 plus 0 is 5, so 6 times 5 is equal to 30. That's true, we've done it correctly. Okay, next two examples. Again, expand them out. So that's negative 3. So that's going to give us negative 6 and negative 3. Watch out for this, that's a negative a. So negative times a negative becomes a positive, and that's 3a. So again, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, and negative 3 times negative a gives us positive 3a. And that's going to be equal to 12. I'll leave a little space there. So, maybe it's helpful to show it in a different color for my working. Minus 6 plus 3a is equal to 12. So I want to think about dealing with the term again without the x, and in that case that's the minus 6. And what's the opposite of taking away 6 or minus 6? That would be plus 6. So I'm going to plus 6 to both sides of the equation. So I get 3a, because minus 6 plus 6, 0, they cancel each other out, and then 12 plus 6 gives me 18. My next step would be then 3 times a, the opposite of 3 times by something is to divide by 3. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And I get 
a is equal to 6. Next problem. Expand the 5 through. 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15 is equal to 35. Thinking about what I'm going to deal with first, and here I want to deal with a number that does not have the x, so that plus, sorry, minus 15 there, the opposite of take away 15 is going to be to add 15. So I'm going to add 15 to both sides of that equation. So I get 10x, to blue, we get 10x is equal to 50. And my last step here is 10x, which means 10 times x. So what's the opposite of times in by 10? It's going to be dividing by 10. Divide both sides by 10, and I'm left with x is equal to 50 divided by 10. It's going to be 5. So just building on the skills that we're already developing, when you've got brackets, you need to think about expanding them out first, and then same as the two-step equations. Deal with the term that doesn't have the x or the a or the variable, whatever it is, in it first, and then look at dealing to break apart the one with the x and get x all by itself.